uh, there's an old saying that if you don't care where you're going, you'll never be lost. And so the question is, where are we going? Where are we headed with respect to energy policy? What is our destination? Mr. Secretary, we're very pleased that you're here to share your thoughts with us about that subject. And uh, you may proceed. Your entire statement will be made a part of the permanent record. Thank you, Chairman Dorgan um, and members of the committee. We need a policy framework that emphasizes two parties, policies that will accelerate innovation and policies that will drive the private sector investment in clean energy. As stated in a comprehensive report, America's Energy Future, issued by the National Academies recently, and I quote, actions taken between now and 2020 to develop and demonstrate the viability of several key technologies will, to a large extent, determine our nation's energy options for many decades to come. So here's a few steps that we need to take. First, we need to accelerate efforts in energy efficiency, our cleanest and cheapest energy resource, to save money and create jobs. The National Academy's report states that we could save about 30% of the energy used annually in buildings, transportation, and industry sectors. This estimate only included those investments which could provide a minimum of 10% return on your investment based on net present value. Strong efficiency standards and the enforcement of those standards will be of the highest importance. And we need new models to overcome barriers, barriers such as information, lack of information, lack of financing, so that you can uh, ad achieve widespread adoption uh, of cost-effective home energy efficiency technologies. The administration is working with Congress to establish the HomeStar program, designed to jumpstart economic recovery by boosting demand for energy efficiency products and installation services. Second, we have to develop and deploy cleaner energy technologies for electricity generation. We need to provide market trough for renewable energy sources in a preliminary 2010 report, EIA projects that nine hydro renewables will account for more than 10% of electricity sales in 2020 without any additional federal or state policies. Appearing here today, I, I hope you will be available if we wish to submit some written questions uh, to be able to respond to them. But we appreciate your leadership and your the work and the work, as my, several of my colleagues have indicated, I think you've put together a very strong team at the Department of Energy, and we appreciate uh, the work of all of them. Uh, and uh, can I make one minute last? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, in response to the, the intent of this hearing, we are developing uh, a roadmap master plan. Uh, it will be heavily influenced by this very authoritative report, America's Energy Future. Uh, this plan is not, not just a laundry list, but timelines of what we think can happen in, in the years. Uh, and 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 folding in the economics. So uh, when this, so we are busily trying with the team that we now have in the Department of Energy. Uh, it's an extraordinary bunch of individuals. Uh, just as an example, there are five members now uh, in our team that are either members of the National Academy of Engineering or National Academy of Sciences, uh, which is unusual, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, and one of them, Memory National Academy of Engineering, is also um, has 25 years of industrial experience. He worked in a power company, built coal plants. So, in addition to being, uh, they're not so they're not all academic scholars. They're actually real. This is uh, Mark, Jim Markowski. So, so and and people who have founded many companies with us. So, so we have a team we think uh, that can perhaps start to lay a rational roadmap that. As you say, it doesn't lunge here and there, but, but perhaps uh, can, can give us ideas on, on formulating a comprehensive energy policy. Well, I have a copy of the summary edition of America's Energy Future here. It's, it's, a, it's a, a great menu of uh, all of the things that have been discussed here and much, much more. So I'm encouraged by your report. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Secretary. We appreciate your being here. Thank you.